welcome to Great Getaways. Today we're going to do a little reminiscing as we take you to one of the oldest resort towns in Michigan, Holden Lake, where we're going to do a nostalgia tour. Join us as we talk to people who have been coming here for 30, 40, 50 years and more. They're going to tell us about what brought them here and why they keep coming back year after year. As a matter of fact, I started coming here with my mom and dad over 50 years ago too. Let's get started. Let's start with a place that everyone who comes to Houghton Lake knows, and that is Lyman's on the Lake. We're here right now at Lyman's on the Lake. I am with uh, the owner, Kurt, and uh, anybody that ever comes up to Houghton Lake fishing, you probably know Kurt, because that's where you go for all your supply set and all the information on where to catch the best fish. And Kurt, you know, we got talking one time when we were up here about uh, to all the people that come up, that have come up here for so many years, and there's just a lot of them. It's a lot, it's, it's, and these people have been coming up. We have people that have been coming up for decades. Um, Chris, Chris here is one that's been coming up since the 70s, I believe. Absolutely. So we took over, of course, from Lyman Foster, who owned the business since 1986. And then, so we bought it from his family and took over and tried to keep the soul of it and kind of up, up, you know, do the upgrades and updates as, as needed. So okay. I think I think Lyman would be proud of I, what his business, what we've taken it to. Yeah, I think you're right about that because I, I knew him too. Yep. And uh, and he would really be proud of what you've done with it. You've done a <laughs> great job. How many fish did you and your father and your son catch? Well, I, I don't want to brag. It was it was quite a bit. <laughs> Think oh, about this. No, you can brag. Three <laughs> generations of beach gnaws were on the lake yesterday, and they all caught fish. And, and my my dad has been really. That's how we even knew about this is because the family. My my grandfather brought my dad up here in 1947 when my dad was four years old, and the family has been coming up ever since. And so now it's ballooned to. I think there's probably between 60 and 80 of my family that comes up here every year for, for one week in July. As they should. And, and it's just something where, you know, as kids, you, you remember it as a kid, and you want your kids to experience the same thing, you know, that you did when you were a kid. And then this, I mean, this lake, it's a, it's a large lake. Um, so it's, kind of, it's large enough that you can spread out uh, it's there's plenty of places to stay, but what's also nice is unlike some smaller lakes that are kind of hidden away You're you're within 10 minutes of food. You're within 10 minutes of a grocery store, you know a bait shop uh, You know, so we have all the conveniences here just down the road. You, you'll see a log cabin souvenir store That's owned by Hiroko Cook who owns Chief White Birds. It is an authentic Chippewa Indian store you go in there, and as the old screen door clangs shut, you're standing in 1975, as I was as a child when I thought that walking the tenth of a mile from Uncle Harry's to her place was a big kid's walk. I'm thinking about all these businesses and stores, and everything's pretty easy to access. But here, you, mm -hmm. you know, you've got your bait shop, but you've also got a little store in there, so. People can pick up uh, different things that they might need. Yeah, we like to say we have everything you need for a day on the lake. Okay. So we have the bait, the tackle, we have snacks, we have soft drinks, we have adult beverages, we have a um, we have a really nice bourbon selection. That's that's wow. really caught on in the last couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> I won't say whether or not you you guys picked up one or not. I won't say. <laughs> well, you know, with you guys coming up here and or have been up here as long as you have. Uh, you probably have met a lot of people, a lot of different people then too. Good people. Oh, yeah, it's it's incredible, and they're from Indiana and Ohio. We get a lot from Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, of course, you know, with a Michigan as well. And you know, these families that come up here tend to stay the same week, the first week in July, second week in July, whatever it may be. So all these resorts that are next door to each other, you know, this is like their second family. Even the the other vacationers. And you know they get to, you know, see the new kids that were added to the family, uh, who graduated, um, you know where they where they're working now, changing jobs, a new boat, 
So, I mean, it's a way for, it's almost like a family reunion for people who aren't families. <laughs> but this, this is a family. This is when you come up here, um, you know, the shop owners, a lot of them are the same and the restaurant owners and, and your next door neighbors. So, it, I mean, it's a, it really is a family oriented place. Plenty of things to do for everybody in the family. And, um, you know, we hope more people come up here and start a tradition uh, for themselves. Our next stop is at the Sunset Resort where we meet the extended family of the Olinskiaks and the McGee's. And if I pronounce your name wrong, I apologize, but I'm not talking about the McGee's either. Tell me a little bit more about it. Yeah, so uh, here we've got six cabins. Uh, three of them are brand new this year, actually. Uh, they've got two bedrooms with a lofted third, and the other three cabins have two bedrooms. Um, most of our family guests here that stay, um, it's the same family for the same weeks, year in, year out, and it's kind of fun. We get to know everybody here. Um, we've got a game room as well for those rainy days. Kids get a chance to maybe get out of the rain and play some arcade games and everything like that. Okay, we've got uh, quite a group with us here. We do. And uh, who are these? We've got the mainly the McGee's and the Oleasks. 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 That's a mouthful, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> My bad, guys. Um, but I believe that's the two main families. Yep. Um, we've yep. got a couple other stragglers here and there. but And family friends. And family friends uh, that come up and they've been with us now for 13 years. Yeah. Okay, but you've actually been coming up here, Jennifer, for more years At than least that. about almost 20 years we've been coming up to Houghton Lake. Okay. Yep, and we've been staying at this resort. We've actually found this is our, our favorite spot to stay because you can accommodate all of us. And we rent out the whole resort and kind of take it over for a week. It's pretty much like a family reunion for us. Oh, and it makes it nice when you can put all the family in here and bring them up. Yep. And you kind of organize this a little bit. A little bit, it. yeah, thanks to my mother. <laughs> <laughs> I've taken over, and what we like to do every um, night of the week, a cabin, it's their turn to cook dinner. So we cook dinner one night, and um, sometimes we have theme nights, as you can see around. The, we have, tonight is our uh, Mexican night, taco, walking tacos, right? Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> um, but we take turns cooking dinner, we cook for everybody, so that way... You know, um, I've already cooked for the 4th of July, and so I'm, I'm done for the week. And, but so each day is nice. a little bit different theme. A little different, yes. We do, we, have, we do have different themes. We've done the holidays. We've done St. Patrick's Day. Polish we've done, night. yep, Polish night. And so the food kind of goes along with that. And just lots of memories made for sure. I see when we come in, we're uh, different to things that the girls were doing. Oh, yeah. Uh, tie-dye yep. shirts. We do tie-dye shirts every year, yep. So those are, yep, those are happening. We've done a lot of painting, there's arts and crafts. We kind of have that at the different cabins. And, yeah. and I noticed too, we're sitting out here and we have mostly the ladies. <laughs> right, <laughs> the guys are golfing right now. Yes. <laughs> my brother who would probably be the better interviewer right now. <laughs> but yeah, they're up golfing at a nice golf course right now. So there's six of them that are gone. Now, you got quite the outfit on there. Yes. My night to cook. Yes. My wife. Oh, your night to cook. It's yes. our night, yeah. Yes. You guys must really plan ahead of time we for this vacation. We do. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we're we getting do. really good at it. <laughs> it looks like it. We, we just send out an email and everyone responds and we're done. Yeah. Uh, we don't put as much work into it as you think we would. <laughs> it all comes it's together fine. quickly and we do it. So what, what are the different things you do when you're up here? I mean, you've got all these things that are going on here. You go out and do I'd love things. to go to the sandbar and go on a pontoon boat and just go. Yeah. Go fish. Go. Eh, we, we tried fishing. fishing. We are. We're, we're <laughs> yeah, not, someone like me. We're <laughs> impatient with the fishing part. Oh, what a great bunch of people they were. Now we're going to do something a little different. We're going to move out of town a little bit, doing something a little more rustic, as we meet with Michigan firefighter Eddie Dennis at the Reedsburg Dam Campground. We're just outside of Houghton Lake right now. We're on the Muskegon River, and we're standing at the Reedsburg Dam. A great little spot to come out to. You'll notice on one side we've got a backwaters here, we've got some people over here that are swimming. Over on the other side, below the dam, we've got people out there that are fishing. You'll also have a picnic area that's out here right behind the camera. 
and we have a campground down the way here too that we're going to go down and take a look at. But it's just a great place to come out to. Well, we're here at the campgrounds at Reedsburg Dam. Um, as you can see, there's not many people out here. I don't know if this is a hidden secret or what it might be. There's only a couple of campers out here now, but you've got a beautiful area, a beautiful campground out here. Looks like it's easy to bring a trailer in, to bring tents in. They're nice and flat. you got the fire rings, the picnic tables. Over this way, you've got the backwaters of the dam itself. But uh, it's still a great area, a good spot to come out and fish, or if you just want to come out here, you want a little solitude, this looks like the place to be. And some campers out here, so we thought we'd start to talk to them. I'm with Eddie Dennis right now. Ed, where are you from? I'm from Ovid, Ovid, Michigan, okay. so not too far away. And you're a firefighter? Yes, sir. Yep, I work uh, for Meridian Township Fire Department, Okemos Hazlitt area. Oh. You guys uh, like to get away from it a little bit though, huh? Come up here and do some camping? We do. We don't really like so much of the busy tight campgrounds, so we like doing the rustic type campgrounds. So, and it's beautiful. When you come out here to do this, you usually just kick back, have a fire, oh, you do any fishing? For sure, yep. We've done some fishing down here yesterday. We caught some little, little guys, but you know, it's still fun. But yeah, have a fire, most definitely eat a lot of good food. But you like it out here? Kind of in the middle of nowhere. It Absolutely. Seems like. Best place to be. I know I love it myself. Yeah. This way. Yeah. Well, you remember those vacation days that were cold and rainy? Well, that's the kind of day we had when we met at the Northwoods Motor Lodge in Russ Common. You're originally from Michigan, are the rest of you originally from Michigan? Yes. Yes, we're all from Michigan, yes. Originally. Okay, but you now have spread out. Kara, where are you from? So I, I uh, my dad, who isn't here, um, he started bringing us when we were kids, but he, we were raised in Pittsburgh. Okay, so, Pittsburgh. But this was, we would come for the whole summers when we were little. My mom always worked remotely, so we would come the whole summer if grandma would take us. And, uh, it was and we would. <laughs> <laughs> and they always would. And so, so yeah. What about you? Where are you from? Uh, well, we, you know, I, we were born and raised in uh, Birmingham, Michigan, okay. and in the late early 70s, my father got transferred over to Green Bay, Wisconsin, but we still made the trip from Green Bay over to Higgins Lake and, you know, has, have been coming here, I've been coming here all my life. John, but you're coming from Florida, right? <laughs> Florida now, because I'm retired, but before that I worked for General Motors for 40 years, and I lived in seven different states, but no matter where I was, we always came here every summer to, to, to be with family. So that's, again, it, when I was born in 1960, my parents brought me up starting then, and I, I don't think I missed a year since. Been here every year. So you guys probably have developed some pretty good memories from up here. Can you tell us a little bit about some of them? Oh my gosh, it's, I have so many stories, and I've watched the lake change over the years. You know, more, more boats, more motor boats. Uh, we used to have, there used to be a sailing fleet here of lightning sailboats that you would walk, look out and you'd see the, the boats going by and the spinners, you know, the spinnakers coming up. So that's kind of a memory. We had a sailboat. We had, we had, didn't have a lot of boats when I was growing up. I mean, if you had a little boat with a motor on it, you were lucky. I call it the Tuscany Family Shrine here at my cottage because they all keep gathering here. But, uh, yeah, and I met my husband in, in Michigan, but he was from here, so we have had, we had a lot of good summers together, and uh, and I remember the grandchildren growing up, and oh, yeah. you know, and really to see to see my family grow and enjoy this place has been really a big part of of uh, my happy days. We call it the happy place. We, you know, last night, you know, I got here, like five o'clock and ran over to the neighbors and we went skiing and you know like it's like they're just I can't wait to see them every single year and so we used to have these uh, big 4th of July parties because when we were little we didn't have as many obligations and jobs and those kind of things but we would have the whole neighborhood would come over and we would do relay races and like balloon tosses and those kind of things and the videos of those I can always hear grandpa laughing in the background and it's one of my favorite memories because you know just seeing the, the the changes on the lake over the years you know you know these kind of lakes have become so much more popular and 
in lakes like Higgins Lake and Torch Lake and Charlevoix, you know, these deep glacier developed lakes and, and the water is just, it, it's crystal clear. You know, you can go up to the drop off and you, you can still see the fish swimming around at 20 or 30 feet deep. Uh, I, I'm a scuba diver, so I'll go out and we have these areas that I like to dive that you get down at, right at the drop off and, and there's just thousands of fish down there to kind of have fun and see. And but if anybody's been to Higgins Lake, um, it remarks about how crystal clear it is. Well, I'll tell you what, I really want to thank you folks for getting together with us and telling us some of your memories of being up here. I think it is so great. I think it's things that all families should be doing, getting together on a vacation right. and enjoying these kind of things and developing these kind of memories. And I just want to thank you all for joining us. Not everyone that comes here likes to stay in a cabin or a resort. Some people like to bring their RVs or their travel trailers, and what better place to stay than the Houghton Lake Travel Park? We're here now at the Houghton Lake Travel Park. I am with Dave, he's one of the owners here. Dave, this is quite a park. I didn't realize that uh, it's pretty big. You've got a lot of spaces here for trailers. Well, we've got 16 acres and we've got 83 sites. And uh, surprisingly, there's lots of people that live in Houghton Lake that don't even know we exist because we're kind of down a dead end road. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, I've been up here and coming up here for years. I didn't know it was here either, so. I believe you. <laughs> but uh, now that I've seen it, I really like it. This is really a nice campground. Uh, you've got those sites, like you said. Now, uh, most of them for trailers is electricity. Yeah, about uh, all of our sites have water and electric. Okay. Uh, except for a few primitive tent sites against the woods, but all of them have water and electric, and about a third of our sites also have sewer. And we okay. also have some 50 amp electric. We're trying to accommodate bigger motorhomes, and we're trying to update row by row up to 50 amp. Oh, wow, that's yeah. pretty good then. I see also you have a, a few little cabins here that you've got in the property. Yeah, we've got three cabins. They're, they're rustic. I mean, they have electricity and if you call air conditioning rustic. But I well, mean, what I mean by rustic is there's no water in them. You walk across the, the grass to the bathhouse. Okay, yeah. okay, and we've got the bathhouse right here. Yeah, bathhouse and, and pool. Uh, yeah, the pool, that's kind of nice to have out here. The pool is a really big draw for our campground. We have a lot of small kids, a lot of boaters come here. We have a whole parade of boats goes out fishing every morning and a lot of kids in the pool and yeah, the pool's a big draw. Now, do people usually just park their boats here uh, when they're not using them, or do they take them to marina? Uh, what do people no, usually do? No, most people trailer their boats. Okay. And they just there's like, there's plenty of places here to put them to park. Yeah. Okay. You've also got a nice picnic area out here that's surrounding us right now. You got a new fire pit in there. Yeah, yeah. We in fact just a couple of years ago we put up that pavilion there, and okay. we've had some receptions and graduation parties and potlucks and stuff. And open all year. We're open from as early in April as weather will let us Okay. until October 15th when we close. Do you find a lot of people that have come up year after year? There's, there's some people that are that have uh, been coming here longer than I've been the owner of the place. They've been oh. here over 20 years. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so it, and maybe we'll get a chance to talk with some yeah, of these people. Yeah. would like to be Certainly. able to do that. Well, Dave, thank you so much for talking to us for a minute. You bet. Maybe we'll go meet some of these people. Well, we're here at the park, we got walking around, stopping to talk to some of the people that are here. And I'm with Josh and Brooke right now, and uh, I understand that you guys have been coming up here for a few years now. How long has it been? Uh, four years. Four years. And what keeps you coming back? Just everyone here in the campground. Really? Everyone's nice, friendly, they got the pool <laughs> for kids, adults, me. Not to make fun of any old people here, but I like hearing stories from the old people. Oh yeah. Every morning I go up to the shop there and I have coffee at 7.30 in the morning with all the bunch of old people that are here yet. They're seasonals and they're really, really nice. Cool. They love, they like, they like seeing us every year when we're here. They like seeing our kids. It's just, this makes it nice. It's, family. It's family. So, a really nice family camp down here. Now it's time to meet with Mr. and Mrs. Zach who are bringing their families here for over 50 years. Right now, I'm with Frank Zach and his family. You can see all the people in the back of us here. 
Uh, we wanted to come up and talk to guys like this because you have been coming up here for so many years, Dalton Lake. Yes, we have. We've uh, we've enjoyed it. We uh, we started off with just. Uh, my wife and my uh, youngest, and it has uh, it has gone through. Uh, I think one year we had a picture of 40 of us that were that were up here, and uh, uh, we've taken taken care of almost every. In fact, this year we have all the cottages, all eight cottages, being fulfilled by our, by our family members. Okay, how many people have you got up this year? We Looks got. Like uh, what do we have, Margaret? How many? We have 26. Okay, 26 this year. Yeah. So. Um, what is it that keeps bringing you back here? Well, uh, I, certainly the, um, the the place itself. It, it uh, the memories have surfaced through uh, the young kids growing up, um, playing in the sand, um, going down. There's a, a there's a slide in the water that's been here that we've used for 50 years. So the kids, uh, when they're a little up and down the slide, in fact, they still, obviously, they still do that. Um, the, the, uh, the things that they offer here, they have, we had uh, years of uh, coming up and enjoying uh, horseshoes, um, volleyball. I, I was looking through some of my old movies and I was kidding everybody. I says, I think I got like enough for ESPN special. I think I, got, I, think I have like about, about uh, 15 hours of us playing volleyball, you know, back and forth. Uh, one of the nice things, you've got this nice lake here too, which I'm sure that uh, probably that helped bring you up here. Great fishing out there, for instance, or boating around. Oh yeah, yeah, we got, uh, uh, Bob would bring his uh, sailboat, his uh, sunfish many years ago. Um, Jerry's brother would bring a little bigger, uh, you know, sailboat. Um, we had friends that had pontoon boats. They would come and pick us up and take the kids for, you know, for a ride. My husband and I came up here first with Mary Ellen and her younger daughter. And then at that time we just had one, my daughter Mary Ann. And we were staying at a different place and we came over and we could see this place so we and said oh this uh, looks like some place where kids could play so we came here and then the and sisters the just kept old. adding on yeah, over the old. years <laughs> so then <laughs> then it turned out that always we would just great. be always able to get all the cottages and yeah, all the families come up now. so oh, yeah. Michigan outdoors? Yeah. It took us 50 years to get yeah. every single every, one of them. Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> true. <laughs> all right, well, I'm sitting back here with the guys. Now, we've been talking while you listen to the ladies, but uh, <laughs> just kind of finding out what, the, you know, the guys are back here. They're a little more telling the truth about some things. You can't and, put that on there, though. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm not, yeah, won't get into. Yeah. But, uh, it, I heard you lost at golf today. So you guys do some golfing up here. Oh, yes. Wow. Yep. Six, six days out of the week, we, uh, between three and six of us usually go up to the Quest and play. That's a great have, course. Too. Oh, it's a wonderful time. We have a really good uh, um, time together. Hey, you guys get out here fishing at all? Oh, yes. Oh, 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 you're the one that's fishing, huh? Any of you there? Okay. Yeah. 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 That's my little that fishing over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the seven foot tall giant? Yeah. 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 Well, I hope you enjoyed our nostalgia tour. It was like a trip back in time for me. If you would like more information, you can go to our website at greatgetaways.tv. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.